Hello everyone, I've just completed a 1500 watt home solar power system for one of my clients. It includes a 1500 watt inverter and a 60 at solar charge controller, all neatly installed in a small metal cabinet. You just need to connect it to a battery and solar panels and you can enjoy free electricity. I will provide you with the files and instructions so you can build a similar system yourself. This is an open source project and I will provide you with all the necessary files to build it. You are free to copy, modify, or even produce the PCB for commercial purposes. The project was designed using Eagle CAD version 9.6 and I also provide the complete Gerber files for you. If no modifications are needed, you can simply upload the Gerber files to the JLC PCB website. For only about $20, you can get five PCBs, including shipping fees. The price is really affordable. In addition, JLC PCB also offers many other services such as plastic 3D printing, metal 3D printing, PCB design services, PCBA services, and many more. Moreover, if you register now, you can receive discount coupons worth up to $70. I ordered around 100 PCBs for this project, and it took about two weeks to receive them. Just like every time, the PCBs are very well made. The cost for each PCB was less than $2. In addition, if you don't have time to purchase the components yourself, I also offer a combo package of components and PCBs, so you can assemble them at home. The assembly process is also very simple, as all component values are clearly printed on the PCB. Moreover, I used 100% through-hole components for this project. Even if you are a beginner, you can easily assemble them. You should start the assembly with the smaller components first, such as resistors and diodes. Components with the same values should be soldered at the same time to avoid confusion. After that, move on to larger components like capacitors, ICs, and potentiometers. Be sure to pay attention to the polarity of components such as diodes and capacitors.
This inverter circuit can operate at voltages from 12 volts to 72 volts. The output power will vary depending on the input. Power. At 12 volts, the power is rated at 1500 watts, while at 72 volt, the maximum power can reach up to 6 kilowatts. In this case, my client requested a 12 volt input for a 4S200 amp battery pack. I designed the transformer according to the client's requirements, with a primary winding of 7 volts and a secondary winding of 220 volts. In addition, the customer requested a connection to a solar panel system. To save costs, I used a 60A PWM charge controller. With five 100 watt PV panels connected in parallel, the system delivers a maximum current of 50 amps and a maximum voltage of 21 volts, which is very suitable for this setup. After completion, the no-load power consumption is about 15 watts. The maximum efficiency reaches 93%, and it works well with common loads such as fans, water pumps, light bulbs, and other electrical devices. I noticed that when the load is under 500 watts, the heat sink barely gets warm. <laughs> 